Hi, I'm Maria Angelova and I'm the founder of uh, Mom's Financial Fitness Program and I'm working on my upcoming book Divorce Money and Mothers and Vera is with me. Vera agreed to give me this interview with the idea to show other people how life can come around and can bring circumstances that we never planned for that and how this uh, you know, affects our life. Hi Vera. Hi Maria. Okay, so do you agree to, to answer some of my questions? Yes. Okay, uh, Vera, um, can you tell me about your status right now? Are you married, divorced, kids? What is your status? Uh, I'm divorced and I'm single mom with uh, eight years old, uh, very nice daughter. Okay. And uh, so, but my life is going to be a little bit changed and that's now. Um, it's uh, diagnosed as uh, diabetes type 1, which is very major and very, very hard uh, disease in a life, and nobody knows. So how, how long ago the, the diagnosis came? Uh, the diagnosis came, it's a month ago. Okay, and uh, when that diagnosis came, did you have any, in the, before that, did you have anybody in your family with that? Mm. No. Do you have any anything that can tell you, oh, okay, I have to prepare for this disease to come? No. And often people say when they talk with them, uh, I'm not planning to get sick. Did you plan to get sick? Exactly, no. <laughs> okay. An absolutely healthy person was, it okay. is, right? And um, uh, that's, this is disease nobody can be prevent to you, right? Because I'm just to uh, go for my doctor just to regular check up, right? Yeah. If I didn't, I never know that I have it, this disease. How much it costs you per month to, to, to have the medications for that? Oh, this is really, really big problem because uh, this is cost around 400, 450 per month. Really? Okay. Um, and government help for that? No. Any, any organization that can give you some money for this? No. no. Any insurance to cover it? No. Okay. So if you would uh, like do something, if, you know, knowing that that would happen to you, would you do something different like three months ago, six months ago to help somehow? Is there any help that you can like prepare in advance? if you knew that that might happen. Exactly. What would you do? So I'll uh, prefer to be getting some uh, insurance uh, for critical illness uh, because in, the, in my case, if I had it, some kind of insurance, I'm going to be covered by that, right? But for this time, it's going to be handled by just myself. Nobody can be helped to me. So the insurance companies, so you believe that insurance company could have pay you exactly okay exactly. but you should have done this before exactly now can you be covered right now can you buy any insurance now with this so i can uh, be um, covered by life insurance right mm -hmm. but my premium gonna be higher for the regular person like you yeah. you are absolutely healthy yeah. maybe it's a twice or triple cost more yeah oh wow wow Plus, uh, uh, for this time, I cannot apply for any insurance for the drug yeah. plans. It's not covered anymore. Yeah, maybe one thing that we have to I have to explain is that there are uh, insurance that are insurance so that is covering for benefits could be personal insurance, and some of these uh, plans are covering with limits. Some of them are covering unlimited um, uh, like amount of uh, medications. But that is available only for people who are healthy. It's not available for people who are not uh, healthy anymore, um, unfortunately. And that's what's happened with Vera. Uh, and also what she's mentioning about critical illness. So that is insurance that is covering disease like heart attack, um, cancer, and about 25, 26 other diseases. I believe they're not covering for diabetes, but still, you know, it's something that uh, a person is able to get that kind of insurance in case that happened to have a check like 25,000, 50,000, 100,000. 
uh, in case that happens, when the diabetes is already um, you know, a, a, a period in the life of a person, uh, getting that insurance is not so easy. I believe you should be either in the, in, in the stage that is stable, uh, and I'm not sure if they would cover at all. With this, have you checked with that? With this, uh, are you going to be later on able to, to apply for some critical illness? No, it's too late. It's too late. It's so too late. I oh, okay, so you, they, because you, diabetes, it's a, it's a one of these diseases, in a twenty-five, twenty-four diseases. Oh, so it is. Yes. It okay. Is. Yeah. So uh, when um, you you saw that problem coming to you. How that affected your state of mind, and now you told me also that there is some other um, health issues that appears with your kidney and with the you know, pain. Uh, how that affects? So the, uh, I believe you're working. So can you stop working? Can you? Do you have any other way to support yourself? No, I cannot uh, support it by anyone. Just it's by my income, right? I cannot okay. stop work because so. Nobody that's paying me money, right? That's um, in this case, right? And you have to be very careful with diabetes because if you are uh, doesn't keep under control your sugar level, there are going to be like a side effect on your kidney, your heart, your eyes, everything, right? It's very, very important to you. But it's very hard to keep it because first of all, you need to be uh, support and uh, also you have to know uh, if there is something happening to you very, very, very dangerous, who's going to be handle my daughter? <laughs> right? So, um, I don't have a life insurance, right? And my daughter, if, if there's something happening, she didn't receive anything from me. Wow. That's, that's so, if, if you would uh, um, have your younger Vera, let's say like a five years younger Vera, uh, I don't know how old are you, your daughter is eight, so let me not <laughs> disclose, but if you'd like to disclose it, but if you have your younger Vera here in front of you and would like to, to advise younger Vera, what would advice would you tell her, you know, what would you tell Vera that is like five years old, younger than, than you? Oh. So you're the like, wiser yeah. Vera to tell younger Vera, Vera, do this, what would you oh. do? What did now, you say? I have a lot of friends uh, who is... Um, <clears throat> The same like a me single mother, right? And I started recommending for all my friends to get it insurance because life it's um, too long and too short, and you never know what's going to be happened with you. But if it's happened, you have to be uh, secure, insure with something, right? For your critical illness, for your life, and it's helped to you and for your family if you have it. Do you have any help from your ex-husbands right now? Um, yes, I receive it, but it's very little money, very little. It doesn't help to me to get uh, to put this money for my um, education plan for my daughter. You see, mm -hmm. uh, and you said that you're going to the hospital by yourself. Do you have help of your ex-husband or somebody who can stay with no. your daughter or bring no. her to the hospital? No. no. So if you have to compare your problems with the divorce and with the help uh, that you needed right now during the you know the the, the, the sicknesses that are coming, uh, what would you like? What would you say about this? How how the how you compare divorce problems with the health problems, and how do you see that? Oh, it depends. That's um, you know some people is divorced. It. It's not a bit like a me. Maybe that's my disease, it's um, affected after divorce because it's a stressful, right, situation. Maybe it's not, nobody knows, right? And um, hmm. so. So you didn't have much problem during the divorce, but now no. you have. So, yes. So the, the, but now when you realize that you are alone and that, you know, all the health problems and the problems that is with supporting the child and supporting yourself is really something that is like overwhelming and it's difficult to handle. How that affects your your state of mind and your, uh, are you really feeling stressed? Do you think that... Ex exactly, it's a stressful, stressful for everything, for me, uh, for my daughter, because she's understand what's happening, right? 
and uh, also again uh, when it's a diagnosis my diabetes uh, I'm starting to go for uh, some places to see nurses, educations, uh, how to get this medicine and everything. But I don't have a time a lot, right? Because first of all, I cannot leave my daughter alone. She's too, too little. And I cannot take her with me, right? So it's very hard. It's very hard, yeah. yeah. So. Okay, Vera, thank you so much for your thoughts. And uh, yeah, again, do you have anything to tell other mothers or who are there? And even, you know, people who, who've been through divorce. You know, many of them have been through divorce, still healthy, uh, but they, they don't still get, you know, that kind of uh, stress that we might face when we are, uh, you know, alone uh, and with additional problems. Do you have anything to tell them? that you might like, uh, like in help, helping them to yes, do something? Yes, uh, just to think in for your future, uh, to get it secure your future, because it's, you see the life, it's, sometimes it's too short, you never know. If you are alone and you don't have any family, kids, whatever, maybe it doesn't matter to you, right? But, but you have to secure your future. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the one thing that I've been sharing with other women that they say, um, let's younger you and healthier you help older you because you might not have anybody else to help you and unfortunately when we have many problems sometimes we don't find much, much help available not because you know we don't want to have help we might want to have help but it's not available people are busy with their lives and the, the programs are not not available for everything so it's better to help ourselves first as soon as we can uh, afford doing it and again i'm maria angelova and vera is um, uh, you know agreed to to share all this thank you very very much for uh, thank your, you for your thoughts and i hope we can help other women with that uh, i hope with, so. okay Thank you. Thank you.